Dossier Tally Mission. Tally? Tally Mission. <laughs> Recruit Tally. Get Tally on your team. This is yes, an interesting hat. level. <laughs> it's an interesting level setup because whenever you're in the sun, mm. it the sun is so intense because there's two moons on, uh, or two suns of. Endor? No, 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 not Endor. Um, fuck. I really should know Luke's home planet. Oh. Um, wow, I'm really embarrassed now. Anyway, I'm moving on. Whenever you're in the sun, it damages your shields. So you have to stay out of the sun. And that's just kind of like the gimmick of this whole thing. Um, and you're going to be fighting Geth the entire time. So be sure to have... Uh, you should... If you have this Ruptor ammo, use that. Uh, I think that's what I'm using right now with... Zaid on my team. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Zaid. Mm-hmm. Zaid on the job. And uh Michael Bolton. <laughs> Michael Bolton. Indeed. So there's uh four collectibles that you do not want to miss on this level. Uh on this video you'll be picking up the one upgrade. Space Actually, jockey. It's been a while since I recorded this, so I don't remember, but um, there's four total upgrades, or there's two upgrades and two weapons. Um, the M9 Tempest submachine gun, uh, the assault rifle damage and heavy pistol damage, and the assault rifle damage and heavy pistol damage are both very important because I use the assault rifle all the time, and the heavy pistol is a pretty good gun. It's a great backup if you're out of assault rifle ammo and sniper ammo, but it's certainly not something I use very often. And you can't even use the machine gun. And, the, like, at this point in the game, you have a ton of missions that you can do in any order you want, and I chose this one because I wanted to check out the Geth Pulse Rifle, which is the second weapon you can pick up on this level, and uh, I wanted the Assault Rifle damage, so basically um, I, I wanted that upgrade. And the How Geth, did you know what mission gets you what? Shit. Because I did some research on okay. the long It doesn't like, say. No, no, it doesn't tell you in the game. Um, so the, Gulf, the Geth Assault rifle. It's kind of a weird. It's like this is the only time in the game that I know of that does this. You have to be playing on hardcore or insanity difficulty for the gun to appear. Huh. Well, it's the only time in the game that that happens, and it's towards the very end of the level. So I don't know if like you can switch difficulties before the final loading screen mm -hmm. and then have it show up or not. But uh, I'm not gonna risk. Switching difficulties. And you're doing this guide on the hardest difficulty. I'm doing this guide on the insanity difficulty, which is the hardest one. And there's an achievement for beating the entire game. Even though I'm on my secondary account, I, maybe I should have just tried it just to fuck with it. But uh, there's an achievement for beating the entire game without switching difficulties. Mm. Now, one thing that I just kind of... That I can see just fucking somebody mm -hmm. is if somebody else picked up the game oh. and... Hey, let me try. Just without oh, even thinking, without even thinking, not intentionally, uh -huh. just on accident, switch difficulties because it was too hard. Like yeah. your little brother picks up the game, he's like, "Oh, this is too hard. I'm gonna turn it down to easy just to fuck around." Mm -hmm. Like you know when someone picks up your uh, game of Grand Theft Auto and they just start driving into walls and like <laughs> wasting all your rocket ammo that you yeah. paid like a thousands of dollars for. And you're like, "No, don't save. <laughs> Shit, it just auto saved." Yeah. Fuck. I, like, you shouldn't have done that stump jump, you bastard. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm doing them methodically. I'm doing them <laughs> one through fifty. I cannot do them out of order because I'll never figure out where I fucked up. But uh, yeah, I, I there. I I wish there was a way to lock in the difficulty in uh -huh. this game, and there's not. It's like super easy to just switch between difficulties without like indiscriminately switching. You know what was weird in uh, Oblivion? Mm -hmm. It was like a scroller. It was a slider. Yeah. I was like, no way I'm doing this on the hardest <laughs> difficulty. I can just <laughs> scroll it at any time. Mm -hmm. That was my first guide that I didn't finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's a long game, though. That is a long game. Very long game. And so we've both given up on a Bethesda game. What did I, oh, Fallout? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we've both given up on massive RPGs that mm -hmm. probably would have been worth finishing, considering yeah. how popular they are still. Yeah. 
I just remember during uh, Oblivion, mm -hmm. it's when I subluxed my thumb. And the guy subluxed, so huh? <laughs> and like, is that when you shove your thumb my up your ass and accidentally like sit good. on it too hard? And my doctor said it'd be good for me to play video games. Oh, 